<clears throat> Yo, what's up, Sexy San Lando Squad? As you can see, I am spectating a match. I'm starting it, obviously, a minute early because <clears throat> I just want to go over these bands, right? So, the bands are, first off, we got Odin versus Anubis. It's, it's a great matchup for Odin, so I expect Odin to win. Um, but this is just analyzing. He wants he wants me to analyze his play, and we uh, we're gonna do that. So his bands I like actually quite a bit. I think this should be um, Uller Bakasur should be Uller uh, because Uller being open should be one hundred percent picked or one hundred percent banned. Like if he's open, he's picked. If he's banned, thank God, you know. <laughs> And then this guy's bands are terrible, honestly. Bologna's a bad band. If you're playing Anubis, Bologna's a bad band. Um, Chalk's a bad band. Hoi's a good band. I like I like the hell on her Hoi, but I would like to see the Scotty band here. And then maybe like um, another another Hunter, because Hunter's kind of shit on Anubis. So like probably, I don't know. What, what could I do? What could I do? Let's see, Scotty. Oh, you know what? Actually, Pele. Pele is really strong against Anubis. So I would like a Pele and Scotty ban for this guy, other than Bologna Chalk. So let's get into the match. Now, this guy, um, who I'm spectating is... Let's see. How do I do this? Odin. Okay. Why is my camera just going off to the side like that? Can you, can you not? Can you don't though? No, it's just going off. How do I go up? Okay, well. I mean, I can't really move my camera because it's always going to be to the side. It's always going to be moving to the side. But that's alright, I'll, I'll deal with it. Um... Let's see. Can I see? I want to see items. Here we go. So, I like Odin's start. I do. He's going to go with the better clear. And, um... He's going to go for this blue buff here. And instead of doing anything other than blue buff... Or doing doing speed buff than blue buff, he's just going to pick up blue buff. And he, he went these double health pots, which I actually think is really good. It's really strong. He did ward their, his, the, the enemy's blue. Right there, so he knew he was doing the blue buff. He knew he had time to clear and everything. All right, good plays. He out pressured. He shouldn't have taken that tower shot, but I do the same thing half the time, so makes sense. Um, I do want to see Odin's leveling. Is he's leveling the two? I think leveling the three on Odin is definitely the play because if you level the three, then you have um, you have pretty good clear and really good damage. That was good rap by Anubis and good aggression by the Odin. Um, he is kind of wasting quite a bit of farm though. Like these XP camps up here on the sides are up, so so he's finally going to do that. He's a minute in. He's really healthy though. He should remember that. Like, um, we're a minute in. Forty seconds until red. Anubis just backed. I don't know if he saw the Anubis back. I don't think he did. That. He's clearing wave. Take, he's taking his time, which is okay. Save your mana. But at the same time, you have two multi pots left and a blue buff. So I would have fast cleared that with my 2 1. And um, actually, instead of going to this one, I would have gone up to this one, this XP camp up here, because um, that's contested XP, right? Like, you only get half of the XP for actually contesting camps, but it is XP that you could cut away from the Anubis, which obviously means that you're getting further and further ahead so that's what i would have done instead of this i would have done this uh the red buff is up the anubis shouldn't back here i think he's just kind of bait backing he has this warded so the anubis knows this is happening we'll see if he gets the steal on it he's saving the bird bomb for confirm and he actually got it nice oh Odin with the panic beads. So, um, you have to remember Anubis's main damage source. Believe it or not, when he all when he combos you is his three because that's what he maxes first, 
And that's what's really sapping those protections and giving him penetration. That's, that's what's giving him most of his damage in the beginning of the game. So if he misses his three and then wraps you, like I said, like you're going to live just fine here. Because he didn't, he didn't drop the three. But if he wraps you and he misses his three, then you don't have to bead. There's no reason to bead because it won't kill you, period. If he lands this bird bomb, it could kill. Oh, he's not doing it. Okay, he's not being aggressive. That's good, that's good. Because it, it is a scary play. Ooh, alright, alright. That's fine. Now, Odin should back. He should get boots here. He should get attack speed boots. Ah, I mean, Transcendence isn't terrible. Because he was able to buy the whole thing. Um, It's not bad. He is doing the right thing, by the way. Clearing the speed buff. I, I agree with that. Um, It's not bad, Transcendence, because it's a power spike. But it's a power spike you have to stack up, you know? And against Anubis, you really want to shit on him early game because Anubis' late game is crazy strong. Once Anubis has max cooldown and pen, you're not surviving. You know, you're not winning the game. So, in order to win this game, he really has to push his lead as far as he possibly can. And in my opinion, that looks like attack speed boots. So, he has movement over him and can close that distance. Like, right here, he alts. He should alt and, and dive. He didn't do it, though. He didn't do it. He, like, this Anubis doesn't have enough mana to actually fight. Yes, he has blue buff, but he doesn't have enough mana to wrap and three and one, you know? He he can only use two of the two of the three abilities right now. So, in my opinion, he, he should have fought. He's just clearing wave. I respect it. I respect it. All right. Um, Anubis doesn't back because he's got that blue buff, so he's still getting the farm. If I was Odin, i full dive. I alt and I, I fight right here. Alt and fight. Now, Anubis has Phantom, but he takes damage from it. I don't think this Anubis remembered that he took damage from getting out of Odin Cage. <sighs> so the Phantom did definitely get him killed there. Well, I mean, he was dead anyways. The Phantom honestly didn't matter. Because regardless of if he Phantomed or not, he was dead. He, he just overstayed too much. Like, he had... What is this? He had 2,500 gold at least... Or 2300 gold at least because he had um, enough for finished Bancrofts, which is 1400 from tier 2, and bought these. And he bought fucking infinite amounts of potions. So he had a lot of gold. But Odin doesn't have alt here, and Anubis does. Anubis should, should alt, yes. Oh, see, the Anubis just missed, man. The Anubis just missed. I think. I actually think that was a bad fight by Odin. I think that was a really bad fight by Odin. He shouldn't have taken that fight. He did steal the red, which was good, but he shouldn't have, like, actually fought. He should have just ran after getting red because um, Anubis has Bancrofts, you know? Bancrofts is OP. If the Anubis actually had good aim, first off, whoa, look at that walk. <laughs> if Anubis had good aim on the alt, uh, he kills the Odin 100% of the time there. I don't like these, Warrior Tabai. I like Attack Speed Boots because Attack Speed Boots are... 15 less power because the tax speed boots have 25 power on them or 15 power. I don't know. They have some power on them, um, but they give you 25% attack speed. 25% attack speed is nothing to scoff at. Odin should alt. Odin should full commit to this fight right here. He missed the bird bomb. Whenever um, a little a little tip. Oh, he still gets the kill. Okay, still gets the kill. Not bad. But a little tip that I would say when you're playing Odin. Is you shouldn't ever bird bomb when you alt. In my opinion, I and I I'm pretty good with Odin. On my record with Odin right now is 40 and 4. So it's 90%, basically. Um, which is <laughs> really fucking good. And in my opinion, you wanna save your two for kind of tanking damage. Like using that two to uh to do extra damage is okay, but using it to save all that damage is really like, that's the whole kind of like grit to his kit. That's that's what really does it. That's why you max the three and then the two because you, you do the damage with the three and your auto attacks. But he's he plays Odin completely different. And I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's definitely not something I would do. Man, this Anubis is having a rough time. 
Anubis is having a really rough time. But it's not it's not something I would do. Like if if this was me, I would have gone attack speed boots into pestilence. And I think I think that is a pestilence, I'm pretty sure. It could be Bulwark, actually. I think Bulwark is pretty strong too. I don't think there is a bad option, actually, from Bulwark or Pestilence. I think they're both amazing. 20% CCR is crazy strong, which you get from Bulwark. And 25% um, anti-heal from Pestilence is really strong, too. So right now, they're just farming up. Um, Poseidon, or Poseidon, sorry. Anubis it did the right thing by going into this Breastplate here. And he's doing the right thing by checking this blue buff. I, I agree. But he should, instead of doing the wave, he should have done this. Because, like, these minions getting into tower doesn't mean anything for you, right? Like, that doesn't mean anything for the Anubis actually getting a lead. So the problem is, this Anubis is kind of forfeiting his XP. Because Odin is like, okay, if these are up, it's 80 extra XP every minute than the Anubis is getting. Which is a lot of XP. Alright. So the, Od or the Odin should just do what he's doing. I I do, like I said, I like Bulwark, I like Pestilence, they're both good. The Odin should just keep being super hyper aggressive because the Anubis can't do anything and the Anubis should just stay away from the Odin. Like this play right here is going to get him killed. That positioning is going to get him killed. And he took damage. Yep. Yeah, Odin had thorns. I, I like Odin's relics a lot. I think Odin's relics right now are perfect actually. I actually think his relics are perfect. But again, like, I don't think his itemization is very good. I think going straight into Transcendence isn't bad. But against Anubis, you need a power spike. But, I mean, it seems like he was able to do whatever he wanted anyways. So, that's okay. But this Anubis is really... Like, I, I should teach this Anubis. Because this Anubis is... Getting out of position and not farming what he should. Like, he should get this wave, do his blue buff, which he, it looks like he's going to do, and then actually do his go to his speed buff, and then this XP camp over here. Because this he should see on the map this is spawning soon. So let's see what he does here. I think he's going to go from blue to wave. But he's actually backing. I guess he's, he can get breastplate here. That's a pretty good power spike if he can. He's waiting on it. Alright, he got Breastplate. He's going Tier 2 Heavy Mace. That should be a Crusher, in my opinion. Because if you... You've already committed to not going Lifesteal by... Or Anti-Heal. Because you have Bulwark, right? So instead of... Um, instead of going into Anti-Heal with a Beat Stick here... In my opinion... Again, I know I'm saying that a lot this video... But if you're fully committing to not going anti-heal anyways, by aka the bulwark that you picked up, and you're relying fully on your alt to give you that anti-heal, that item right there should either be a Jotun's or a Crusher 100% of the time. Because Crusher gives you more damage, and Jotun's gives you more alts. And if you're relying on that alt to fight, which he is, which is really good, um, then then you don't need anti-heal in your, in your kit. This Anubis is being aggressive. Um, I'm pretty sure Odin can kill Anubis still. He's got a 4 level lead. Odin is just doing, you know, Odin things. Getting getting XP where he can. Backing instead of doing that is smart because the Anubis is going to want to look at that. That's risky. He does have beads up though. He does have beads. If that wrap landed, he did have beads. Oh. Sad boy Anubis. Let's see what's the Odin doing. Odin wants to keep fighting. I actually think Anubis could kill him here. Alright, Anubis, you gotta... What the... Oh, what is this? What is this? Anubis, no! No, don't back, don't back, don't back! He needs to get this, and this, and this, and this. He needs to farm, dude. This Anubis needs to farm up. He's, he's a 5 level deficit right now. Four levels now. Oh, are you staying, dude? Oh, man, you're crazy. You're insane. Oh, he's not staying. He's just backpedaling. 
You should never backpedal, honestly. You either fight or you don't fight. Don't backpedal away and be like, uh, what do I do here? Because that kind of indecisiveness is going to get you killed. Yeah, he went beat stick. I, I don't agree with that. I think because he picked up, um, because he picked up Bulwark, this should have been a breastplate. Or, <laughs> breastplate. This should have been a, um, a Jotun's or a Crusher. Alright. Anubis is dead. Man, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. That Anubis lived because he bird bombed. You really, you really don't want to bird bomb. You want to use your two as like, um, oh, is that a kill? Is that a kill? The Bulwark proc and Anubis missed a lot of that too. Um, but you want to use that two to absorb damage because if he just fall, if he used his two and just kept auto attacking or even used his two to auto cancel, which is what I do when I play Odin, then that would have been a kill and that would have ended the game. I still don't think he's in danger of losing because this Anubis really isn't farming much. But he is making enough misplays to where this Anubis could have came back if he was farming and, um, and it would have been a devastating loss. But he did go Crusher here. Again, I think this should be attack speed boots, and I think this should be a uh, a Jotun's, because I don't think he needs anti heal if he <clears throat> is fully relying on 100% anti heal from his alt, anyways. Which he is, which is uh, it's smart. No. Don't jump. Okay, good. Oh no! Oh no! Too aggressive, man. You have no you have no physical protection and jumping under Phoenix while the Anubis has alt, I will add. I don't know why the Anubis didn't alt, but he didn't. Um is risky. It's very risky. Way more risky than I would have done. Staying right here is really bad too. Anubis wraps and he dies. Or he forces beads. The alt was good. But, um, Anubis, what are you doing? Holy shit. The all was good, but it was too risky. There was no need to fight that. You should have just backed. Because if you die there, you lose tower and phoenix, you know? Because he's so high level. You have to remember, right, when you're playing, you have to remember that the Odin is level 19 compared to the Anubis level 15. Which, by the way, the Anubis still doesn't have a second relic, but that's beside the point. Um, there's no way in hell that the respawn timers are even going to be close to similar. Now, Anubis should, should, should fight here. You, you got the thorns, which is really good, Anubis. Now, juke, juke, didn't juke. It didn't juke at all. As soon as you hear, like, okay, so the Odin, this entire game, has been using his two and jumping in. Uh, every single time. There's not been a single time where he used his shield but and didn't jump in. Which which says to you, if he uses his shield, run the other fucking way. Because he's going to predict where you're moving, jump in front of you, you're going to be able to juke it, and then wrap him when he lands and full combo. Because he already used thorns, he's not going to be able to fight that, right? No, he does have beads, Odin does have beads. I agree with clearing the wave first, that was smart. Anubis should clear the wave, yeah. Now he's gonna jump. Anubis needs to fight this. Anubis does need to fight this. Before Odin drops alt. Oh my god. Why didn't he rap? Why didn't he do anything? Like, the Anubis build is actually good. I actually like this build. This Because Typhons gives you penetration now. But he's not using any of his setup. Alright, the Anubis needs to farm, dude. He's got his blue, he's got his speed, and he's got this up. He won't be able to get this, I think. Odin is going to go from speed to blue. Because blue is spawning soon. So he... The Anubis had time, actually, to clear this. And this. But he chose not to. Um, Toxic Blade. I mean... I think it's okay, just because it's a busted-ass item. But, again, with, like, the anti-heal... He's fully relying on his ult, anyways. 
Because that's why Odin wins this matchup, right? So, I, I would have liked to see attack speed boots right here. Um, a Jotun's right here. And then maybe like a, honestly, like a Fatalis right here. Just to keep up with the Anubis and like get that attack speed up still really high. Alright, Anubis loses here. Yep. So basically that came down to Anubis not utilizing anything he had. Anubis never got a second relic. You guys can't see because of my face, but he had Phantom. And uh, he never got a second relic. And he never used his potions. He was out of position way too much. Um, and Odin was able to win that basically just off of matchup alone. That being said, that being said, I do think that the Odin's build was a little bit iffy. Um, he never fought without his alt, which means his positioning was really good and his timing was really good. But his build didn't match his confidence with his timing and his fighting. His build was kind of setting up for failure in a sense where he's fighting without his alt. So he needs the anti-heal, right? But if he was thinking about that, then he should have gotten a pestilence here. So he'd have 105% anti-heal, right? But but he didn't. He just kind of... He mixed and matched. And in my opinion, you have to fully commit to one one decision or the other. You know? Like with Power Boots and Transcendence, I, again, like, this should have been a Crusher. You shouldn't be attacking. You shouldn't be auto-attacking. This should have been a Jotun's or, like, um, another heavy power item, like... Maybe like a Hydra's, like you jump on him and then auto for 400 or something. But um, he kind of mixed it up in the sense where he went half auto attack, half damage, half anti-heal, half not really giving a fuck. You know, and if you just full committed to one, that game would have been over eight minutes earlier. That game would have been over at like the, ten, the nine or ten minute mark because Anubis wouldn't have been able to do anything. Like, for instance, for instance, um, attack speed boots, like, transcendence is a good item. Y you can have it, right? So, that's okay. Attack speed boots, bulwark of hope, okay, We're, we've committed to fighting with the alt up now, right? Crusher, not beat stick, crusher. This gives you so much power. Um, and then Jotun's, or like Jotun's Crusher, it doesn't matter, just Jotun's Crusher basically, are the two here. And then Hydra's even. Hydra's gives you power and gives you a fucking smack of a damage. That way you're committed to power, you know? You have the power boots, you have um, the Jotun's, which gives you 30% cooldown, which gives you max cooldown when you buy the 500 pot. Um, and then you have the thick ass auto after the hydra and that's i mean that's that so he played it well he built really wrong in my opinion his relics were perfect the anubis played really bad though the anubis's positioning was really off um and yeah i'm gonna spectate another match and i'll upload both of these videos so if you are watching this video make sure to go watch the other one also and um the next one is going to be from a losing perspective and I'm going to say what he could have done to win it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.